Hi guys, today we're going to talk about an app I found in the Play Store. It's developed by JVBPC. It basically is in use conjunction with Android Auto. It's called Any Auto Audio. He says that the app allows you to stream any music to Auto using the notification listener permissions. Moreover, Android Auto allows you to control it using it just like any normal audio app. So it's any auto audio. It's in the Play Store. So we'll go here to the Play Store. You click it, download it, install it. It's really simple. There's only one... Um, permissions check and the app is enabled you do have to have Android Auto installed you do have to have a vehicle that has Android Auto next we'll go over to the developer site which is an XDA developers and you can read through the uh, limitations and where the app is and what stage it's in right now. During this video it's in the alpha stage and this is uh, August 6th 2017. You do have to have your selected audio player initially selected and ready to play. I'm using it for the reason I have a modified Spotify which allows you to skip ahead and skip back. You can't fast forward or rewind. I'll go back to the beginning of my library to show you I don't have the premium account. Go to settings and at the very top it says free account go premium. Go back to the library. songs as many as you want you still get the ads but that's okay we'll go over to making sure that you have a um, inside of Android Auto you want to select a music player and have it playing so it can listen in on that signal so we'll go to my app drawer, select Android Auto, give it a second to load. Down on the right hand side has the headphones for the music section. It just crashed. Now sometimes it does this because there's no secondary music app running. So what I've found is you need to go to like Slacker Radio. That's previously allowed on Android Auto. And for a second, go back inside fire back up Android Auto and you see the very top the music player has launched when we first launched it it had went away so that indicates that it isn't going to work so this time it should work if we click the music headphones it should take us into the music section this is the any auto audio we click the right hand hamburger or the left hand side hamburger symbol it shows all the apps that we have right now running that we can play so we can use our regular music player or Spotify so if I go to the regular music player we can play that fast forward to the next song next song and go back go back to the hamburger on the left hand side 
to Spotify, hit play. <laughs> If we want to exit out of there and use any of the normal uh, installed apps on our phone through Android Auto, we can go to Slacker Radio. It works the same. I'll show you it in the car and how it works. All right, now we're in the car. Go ahead and power it up. I do have the USB plugged into the car, which is used by the uh, Sync or Android Auto. This is a Ford Mustang uh, 2016 with uh, Ford Sync 3. It should fire up Android Auto automatically. All right, it's up and running. I'll turn the volume down once it uh, gets done syncing the contacts. Now, just as a disclosure, I'm not affiliated with the uh, developer or am not responsible for anything that could happen to your phone or your Sync 3. Read the uh, forums for more information. Here we'll press the uh, headphone and here you have all your music apps we'll go to the any auto audio we'll hit play and we're playing music and we can skip through the songs and back and go up to the hamburger symbol on the left hand side go down to our music switches over nice and fast skip through those also and turn the volume up down and there's no sound on that song for some reason well, I guess there's some voice voicemails and stuff in here well that's my music Go back to Spotify, hit play. We can go back to any of the other uh, standard Android Auto um, apps and play the songs through there. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped. Enjoy. I'll leave uh, links in the description. And bye.